In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to add eyebrows to your model. Now, this could work for eyebrows or any sort of short hair on just about anything, but I'll be using eyebrows for this tutorial. Now, what I'll be doing is, is using a paint effects brush, painting on my model, then taking those paint effects, tweaking those paint effects, and then converting them to polygon geometry so it can be rendered in Mentoray. So the first thing I need to do is make this head paintable. The quickest way is simply hitting this button on the shelf, or you could go to the rendering menu set, then paint effects, make paintable. So the brush I'll be using is this grass clump paint effects brush. I find it's a pretty good preset and it kind of gets you already in the ballpark of what you want your eyebrows to look at, look like. So to scale my brush, I'm pressing B on my keyboard and clicking with my left mouse button and dragging horizontally. This scales and adjusts the size of your paint effects brush. And now, I'm just going to click and draw and try my best to follow the line I've already defined. So that's close enough. Now, I should take a quick second and then generate the geometry. I'll go back to my select tool and open up the attributes editor. So, the first thing I should mention is sometimes when you draw your curves, I mean when you draw your paint effects in Maya, it's somewhat difficult to make sure your brush is a nice smooth line like eyebrows should be. So if this if you want your eyebrows to be nice and smooth, it's best to go in the attributes editor and on the stroke tab of your paint effects, um, set the smoothing to one. It'll just smooth out any of the wrinkles you had when you're original I mean, excuse me, set the smoothing to ten. And this will smooth out any of the wrinkles or the little blips you might have had when you were drawing up your stroke in the first place. And now we're going to move over to our Grass Clump 1 tab, or the actual brush tab itself. Now the first thing you need to do is go to your brush profile, and you probably want to reduce the width. We're going to set our width to right about there. He has a pretty thin eyebrow. And now, the next attributes you should concern yourself with are the tubes. And this basically tells my how to create your eyebrows. So the important attributes here are the tubes per step attributes, because if you increase this, you'll increase the density of his eyebrows. And then the next value here is segments. Now, in most cases, you'll probably just want to set this to something lower than 9. In my case, I'll be using 4. You could probably, in some cases, go all the way down to 1. And the next value we want to look at here is the length. And normally, I set the length minimum to 0 0.01 and the length maximum to 0 0.1. 0 .1. So that's normally about the length I want to run. You could go longer, just once again, completely depends on the artistic look of your character. And the next thing is width. Now, the width 1 is the base of the, base of the hairs. So this should probably be 0 0.01. That's what I've been running. And once again, this is completely up to you. And a tip width, I normally take this to 0 0.001. That way it comes to a nice thin little line. And with random, you probably want to set this to 0 because most people's hairs don't uh, modulate in width. And this width bias, you can just leave that at any value. Okay, so moving down to the positioning of these hairs. Right now they're sticking pretty far out, so to reduce that, these are the two attributes you need to change. Just reduce them until you have them about the right offset from the face. Right about there is good for my character. And another thing I should mention is they'll fall in the direction you drew the line, so it's a good idea to draw the line in the direction you want your eyebrows to go. So pretty much done tweaking the paint effects, though I am going to add a couple more hairs. Okay, now we're done. So now we need to convert this to polygon geometry because Mentoray can't render paint effects and right now it's still colored to look like hair. So I'm going to go to Modify, Convert, Paint Effects to Polygons. Now I'm opening up the options and I strongly suggest you set the polygon limit to something high. In my case I have it set to 100,000. This will prevent it from erroring and not letting you convert it. So click Convert and I'm going to stop right here. You could delete your history right now, which you probably should, but if you have an animated character, these eyebrows will remain attached to the character if you make sure that, if you don't delete history. 
So if your character is not animated, it's never going to move, just delete history. If it does move, you should probably want to leave history because then it will allow Maya to leave the paint effects curve there, which is glued to your character's face, and then it will move the grass with it. Well, in this case, hair. So, but I'll be deleting history. And now we need to assign a shader that looks more like grass. Now, this is completely up to you. I mean, looks more like hair. Now, this is completely up to you, but in my case, I'll be just using a simple Lambert. I'll set the color darker, maybe just a dark brown. And now for transparency, this is something I've learned. You don't want to just simply make the hairs slightly transparent, but what you should do is create a ramp node. I just click this little checkerboard, and this opens up the Create Render node so we can connect the ramp. And we want the transparency to have a little bit of a fall off. So this up here is a tip, and this is the base. And the base, I'll just set it to maybe like a 40% gray or something. And the tip, I'll set to white. I'll just adjust these, these a little bit. And I'll set the renderer to Mentoray. And do a quick rendering. There we go, our eyebrows. Now you can tweak them and play with them or do whatever you want with them. It's just now normal polygon geometry you can edit. And one last thing you sh I should mention is when you delete history, it actually doesn't delete the um, it doesn't delete the paint effects. So to do that, open up the outliner and look for something like stroke grass clump one. It might have a different number. It might be clump two, whatever. Just select those and delete it. And we can ungroup this mesh as well. Thanks for watching this tutorial.